keeping one boy's memory alive on the boardwalk. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our news at six. We begin tonight with how that accident is still putting the future of the tram in question. That accident is still under investigation. A two year old hit by a tram earlier this summer. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us how right now the Ocean City Council isn't sure yet how to proceed with its iconic tram. Families come together to enjoy the beach, boardwalk, and other activities during the summertime. But on August 20th, tragedy struck. A two-year-old boy was hit and killed by the Ocean City Tram, causing the community to come together and pay respects by placing stuffed animals where the accident happened. Now you can't imagine what the family's going through. What if that was your two-year-old? The Ocean City Council is now looking at the future of the tram service. According to the Ocean City manager, Terry McGeehan, police are still investigating. But once that wraps up, the town plans to take action. And we're looking at, you know, all parts of A, the accident, but also all parts of the tram operations. We want to make sure that when we do go back in service, uh, that we're doing it as safely as possible. Vacationer Rick McDaniel hopes there is a way to safely continue the trams on the boardwalk. A lot of people, they depend on that for transportation, especially elderly people or people with back problems or whatever. So it just seems like more precautions would be the way to go, not, not cancel it. The Ocean City Council plans to wait for the investigation to close before making any final decisions. I'm Kevin Zappay in Ocean City, Coast TV News. And in case you're not familiar, that accident that Kevin did refer to, again, happened August 20th, and specifically we know Ocean City police say the two-year-old was crossing the tram pad when he was hit at 814 near Dorchester Street. His name has still not been disclosed publicly at this time. This brings us into our Coast TV poll. We want to know, uh, what do you think Ocean City should prioritize in deciding the tram's future? Let's take a look at the updated results from our last news hour. 63% say tourist convenience, 30% say public safety, 3 and 4% giving costs involved in tram upgrades their vote. So the numbers have moved a little bit, mm -hmm. not a lot. If you want to go vote in this poll, you can do that at coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. And we will have updated results on Coast TV News at 11.